Marius, son of Rome, rise. There is still time. Your destiny awaits you. Look around you. How will I prevent the fall of Rome? All is lost. Don't waste time pulling off the petals. Cut off the head. Boudicca. Boudicca. General, we can't hold them back for much longer. Boudicca. Sir? Sir, I don't know for how much longer we can... The gods do not favor us. We must... Fall back. Flee. Is that what you left your post to tell me? Is that why you left your men? We have been summoned by the gods, and you want to flee? I should kill you myself. You bring dishonor to your men. You bring dishonor to me. You bring dishonor to Rome! I swear to you, Centurion, Rome will not fall. Not today. Today, we fight. Signal whatever's left of the 6th Legion to come about and reinforce the west flank. Pull the 5th out of the old quarter to do the same. I'll find whatever's left of the 14th and take on the enemy in front of the palace. Go! Understood. The front line will hold. Even if I have to hold it myself. And you know, we will hold it ourselves. Cause fucking Vitalian is dead? Our buddy, our friend? How how could they do that to us? Why, Crytek? Why would you peel off Vitalian? These guys seem like they're injured. Alright, you guys you guys doing alright there? No? Okay, well suck it up! You're Roman soldiers. We are the Legion, the Roman, the fourteenth Legion, the legendary fourteenth. What are your orders? We tear a hole in Boudicca's inner guard and eliminate her. Have you, have you seen them off? And that, that's, like, how we were, like, just fucking around with that centurion. He's like, General, rah, 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 forces can't follow. He's like, you're dishonor, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, then we're like, don't worry. We're going to be your friend. We'll be friendly to you, Roman. Um, also, how did, like, how does he know his general? Like, I mean, I guess they saw Vitalian die, and then it's like, I guess we were next in line, so then we got promoted to general. And then also, how the fuck did we get back, or, like, did we get to that place? Like, somebody carry us? Because it kind of seemed like we were in the middle of... Oh, double execution. I got boss. Look at that shit. Alright, alright. You, you're not doing... Oh, we got some more guys here. Oh, you were going to charge up and try to attack me, but I'm not going to let you do that. You know what? I guess there are some gods at play. So maybe the gods brought us to the room and watch over us again. Because they've already given us, like, 15 lives, so I guess it's not surprising to get one more. Oh! Destroyed! Look at this nonsense. These guys, they don't even know what's what. Oh, okay. He, he, he knew it's what? He knew it was up there. Oh, but now he's dead. Oh, look, this guy is the, the barbarian that will not die. I will even name you, sir. Your name is now Leo. Leo the barbarian, rest in peace. But you put up a good fight. You put up a good fight. Now we have to go fire this damn scorpion again. Scorpio, god damn it. I, this guy's is not going to change gate me. Open. Move up. Let, let me get back on. Okay, fine. You know, Scorpio, super effective. Won't let me use it. That's fine. I mean, I don't really like using it anyways, but. 
That war elephant is rampaging. Where are we going? All right, let me get around you, buddy. Come on, come on. You're not going fast enough. He's like going at that stupid game pace where it's like, I'm gonna cut him. <laughs> yes, sir. Down there. Provide support. Uh, just how he's walking, it's like he had something up his ass, you know? He's like, I'm going to stumble to forward to train. We are thinning their numbers. Look at this. One pylon at a time. Phy phyla. Phyla. Phylas. Octopi. There we go. Fire in that, uh... Those archers fire in their volley fire and stuff. Okay, let's volley fire again. Let's volley fire to right there. Okay, there we go. I mean, oh, look at that. Okay, that, ow! Bitch. Oh! And I blew up a bunch of barrels for no reason. Fire volley! I guess I'd probably be more effective than me just throwing a bunch of filas. Ready, man. Pilas, filas. Move out. These guys get cut up on walls a lot. All right. Stop running in place. I mean, I know you're eager to get into combat, dude, but come on now. Oh, uh, what do we got over here? It's Boudicca, sir, on the war elephant. She's trying to breach the palace defenses. What war? Oh, that What war artillery elephant. do we have? There's a Scorpio up on the ridge there, sir. What, what ridge? There? Okay. War this, oh, God. Watch this is... Oh, elephant. War bad. Elephant. Bad elephant. Okay. All right, let's do some dodging. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fire. Fire. Oh, elephant. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, that... All right. Well, that didn't go so great. Well, while we're here, we'll, uh, we'll upgrade some points. We've got 116,000 points to spend on the upgrades, so we might as well do that, right? Oh, okay. So we, we've almost got everything fully upgraded. Um, we probably... I would say we have... Like, I mean, it's the end tiers, so we probably have a good 500,000 more points, and then we'll be fully unlocked, which I don't think we'll get by the end of this game, but, you know, we'll come as close as humanly possible. That's for damn sure. Um, apparently, we're loading back into the game now. Um, I just want to show that death because I actually had some issues with that. The clipping is really not correct in that area. I was having issues where I was getting caught on the fire when I wasn't anywhere close to it. In that circumstance, I did get caught on the fire. That was completely my fault. Um, but in this area in particularly, you have to be, you have to, to give that fire a larger berth than you what would, uh, you would think have? you have to. There's a Scorpio up on the ridge there, sir. War Watch out! Another war elephant! Oh shit. Dodge roll. Yeah, like a boss. Look at that shit. You guys ain't got shit on us. Yeah, Budokai. What do you think you're doing, son? Girl? You ain't got shit. Alright, I was gonna throw a phyla, but I probably should have shoot the Scorpio. More screaming from Budokai. Surprise, surprise. See, if I was an elephant. I would never let Boudica ride me because that's the second elephant she's been on that's gotten hit in the head with a freaking artillery bolt. So uh, let's, uh, you know, let's elephants stay away from Boudica. She doesn't, she doesn't like you very much. And where the hell did Boudica get an elephant? Like, I can't imagine some barbarians from Britain going to like. East India or Africa or something. Be like, yeah, can can we borrow some of these some of these war elephants of yours? Like, can can we borrow them so we can uh use them to, to kill Romans? They'd probably be like, who the fuck are you, white boy? We meet again, Roman. This time, yield or pay the price. And let you destroy Rome, never. We can't both win. And I've come too far to let you stand in my way. Alright, uh, we have Boudicca's fight here. I don't know why I was quiet, you know, paying homage to my time for the first time I was there. Uh, it's 
Very similar to her fight before, she's going, you know, you're gonna end up killing her and then she's gonna get in her super angry stance and, you know, go all like, for her, so she's not doing so well. She's just kinda angry, just you know, a couple of, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm just making fun. Don't, don't, I, okay, now you're all yelling at me, I'm like, I'm sexy. I just, I can't, it's a natural thing, guys. Sometimes you can't avoid it, and sometimes you'll get cranky. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, you just need a block, she's gonna do her little flippy thing in the air, uh, which is unblockable. I'm actually, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna try to do something fancy here. It's probably gonna end up getting me killed. Um, now... Again, with all the other boss fights, for the sake of the story and just the walkthrough going getting along somewhat quickly, I won't use focus unless I have to, um, which I think I might at the end of this because, yeah, I just don't want to have to replay it over and over again and you're going to starve you guys of a uh, amazing defeat. It's, you know, you, once you figure out her moves, it's not all that difficult. Maybe I'm just bad. I'm just, what we really need is just to get Raymond in here playing this shit. I'm just kidding. I I will actually for once say that I am better at this game than Raymond is. I've had more practice with it, of course. But uh, for the most part, Raymond, Raymond good at video games. And Raymond's still good at video games. But I'm the master of the uh, son of Rome, son. You ain't got shit on me. Apparently Budokan does though. We, we, we ain't got no we ain't got no health left. It's a fight to the death. Oh! Shield to the ground. Oh! Ho, ho. This is Sparta, bitch! I say yield! Do it now, Budica! It's where her hair changed color in there. We kicked her so hard that she went from being a brunette to being, uh, having black hair. What is this nonsense? She's trying to focus mode me. Hey, are you trying to focus mode me? Are you gonna go a fo Oh, she, oh, look at her. She got some new moves on her. Where, where are you, you pulling this bag of tricks out of, Boudica? Well, doesn't matter. Come on, come at me. Oh. Yeah, that, that does seem like a focus mode. I don't know if it does to you guys, but to me it does. Oh, gosh. I think you can use Y to deflect that last attack. Um. Oh! Bam! Shield in the face! She just, I guess she just doesn't know what she's doing here. You know, it's... It's interesting, because I guess we could probably heal for Boudicca a little bit. Um, you know, she's got... She's trying to save her home world by invading Rome and uh, giving us the taste of our own medicine, you know. Trying to civilize us, and she's, she's doing this for her people. Um, in this game, at least. You know, we're, uh, we're here for our people. We're trying to defend Rome. This is, this is the pinnacle of civilization at this time. We need to make sure that we keep it that way. Not a lot of bunch of barbarians ruin it. But you know, what are barbarians? It's just barbarians are just people with a different way of life. I don't think I've ever been hit by that down sword thing, or focus mode as I like to call it. Um, and I'm not sure what uh, exactly it'll do. Oh god, she's, uh, she's dealing some damage to me. It's like a tie game right now. Oh shit! She pulls into the lead. I'm gonna have to pull some cheating shit out of here, out of my ass here. Oh god, ow, why? Please, no, Boudica. Ow. Alright, come on, Boudica. Oh, 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 yeah, it's just focus time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, focus is an absolute necessary thing here. Oh god, please, I wasted a focus. Oh, alright. Die, you bitch. Okay, so focus modes in boss battles do not last very long. Oh, maybe, you know, maybe I'll get her down really low, and then the last one will just be an unfocused thing. Yeah. And it'll be like, you know, whoever gets the last fight off wins. If she wins, I'll just throw the game away. Oh, or not. Okay, we'll just, we'll just stab her in her vagina, and we'll kill her. Marius, son of Rome. We are not much different, you and I. 
fate has made us enemies. But in another life. In another life, perhaps. Not in this one. No. Not in this one. Do it, Roman. Do it. <laughs> To me. And we're back at the beginning this of the, the game. Place you can find. When the barbarians see it, they'll run. The battle will be ours. Since you're clearly not here to protect me, what now? You had my family murdered. You have left Rome in ruins. Everything that has happened, all this needless death, your jealousy, your vanity, and your arrogance has caused it all. Wait, 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 wait! Have you forgotten the Oracle's prophecy? Emperor Nero can only die by his own sword. You can't kill me. Only I can. You said so yourself. You languor the gods. Hand me your dagger, General. Then I can at least die as an emperor. Even if I never lived as one. Barons will be defeated. So, it's not them pounding on that door. Those are my Praetorians. God! God! Democles is here! He's here to kill me! Protect me now! <laughs> we always run with just like. The characters running this game are, are just comical. Marius, my good man. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? How hard I've worked to tease all these pieces into place. Marius, watch out! You mortals play your games. We gods play ours. But the game has rules. What? Oh. What? What? I, I... I don't fucking understand. Where was this bitch? Why, why didn't she come and try to save me earlier and be like, Hey, Nero was sneaking up behind you, not last second. Dam yeah, Damocles, watch out. Alright, so... This part is a little... Little confusing. You might think that as someone's charging at you, you'll want to press A as you have for the rest of the game. But at this point, that is wrong. You just need to follow the colored quick time events. This is all... The end is entirely quick time events. Dependent, although I will add is pretty badass. So we're a little injured. We've been stabbed in the side and in the stomach back there. You know, that was a little unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, the headbutt to get our sword out. Oh, 
two guys at once? It doesn't even matter. Oh, and you just killed your own buddy there. What? You gotta look where you're stabbing your sword, dude. He might still be alive. Ow! What the hell? Marius, a little, you know, notice your surroundings here. We're, uh, we're not doing so well here, but you know, we don't, ha we don't have much to lose, if anything. We're here for Rome, and to make sure Rome continues on, and the best way to do that is to kill this pussy-ass Emperor Nero. And, you know, it's, uh, we, we, we've, our family's dead, our buddy and Vitalian is dead. We pretty much, we literally almost have nothing to live for. So, our last goal will be to kill this Emperor, and hopefully, we can do it. I mean, we're killing all his guards. His guards aren't anything to us anymore. And we've been stabbed by him, like, at least four times now. So, we've got a 40, 46 combo multiplier going here. Uh oh, who are you guys? Who are you chumps? Oh, scared. Oh, you got me. JK! Oh. Oh. And we're guessing all the right combos here. Ow. Freaking lurts in his ass. <laughs> I don't know if he would still like be alive for that half second. I feel like that would go straight through your spinal cord, snap it in half, and you would die instantly. Do we get a second life again? Lady, you gonna help us out here? I'm a little bloody. No, nope. okay. In time, Rome healed, and her civilization once more grew and flourished. The city, saved by an unsung hero, would go on to stand for thousands of years. Rome would endure. From then, until the last days of man. guys that is it that is rise son of rome let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below and during the credit scenes it's kind of a tradition of us at the media accounts to kind of discuss on how we thought what we thought of the game uh what its flaws were what its pros were everything like that so guys if you want to stick around for that that'd be awesome uh, if not, make sure go check out some of our other series. Me and Raymond are over doing Dead Rising 3. Uh, we've got Knack. We've got Kill Zone. Raymond's doing Kill Zone. We'll be doing Knack again here shortly. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff on the table. And don't worry, guys. Just like this one, it'll all be finished. I know you guys, you have every reason to doubt us. I know you do. But um, this is coming from me, from Dewey. My promise to you is to finish the, the games that we had started here. So... But, Rise Son of Rome, what did I think of it? I, for those of you guys who have followed this channel for a while, you've known that I've been looking forward to Rise Son of Rome. Uh, when I first saw it at E3, that the be it was the beach scene, I kind of poked fun at it, being like, oh, what is this called? You know, 
it is this, this, you know, Call of Duty, this, we're storming the beach, but, you know, back in Roman times, because you have the artillery coming in, and then the, cell, the shell shocks, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so, you know, at my first glance, it was, oh, this, this game looks stupid. Uh, but then when I looked into it a little bit more, I'm like, oh, you know, this game could actually be kind of badass, looking at some of the combat, even though it was a little bit quick time heavy. Um, it still had that Batman, like, the Arkham games style to it, where it's very timed, and if you get good at it, it can be very, it can look really cool. Um, and I think that after playing this game for, I, I've beat it now twice, um, it, it is, like, it, it does, once you have a mastery to the combat, it does start to look a lot better, and... I really enjoyed that fact about it. The story, a lot of people poked fun at the story. You know, it's it's throwing everything, every un, every unoriginal thing at, at you at once. You know, you've got betrayal, you've got the hero soldier, um, you've got the family dying, the gods intervening. Um, it has everything in it, and, and people, you know, kind of made fun of it. And although it has that kind of stuff, I think it did a pretty good job of showing it off well. And now, so what I'm about to say, a lot of people could take this in a very negative context, but I saw this game really as a Xbox One tech demo. And that that sounds bad, but it really is showing, is trying, you know, in there's certain circumstances that we're trying maybe a little too hard, to show off what the Xbox One can do. And in other circumstances, it also showed you what the Xbox One is not capable of. There were some texture loading issues and uh, some texture pops that were very apparent to me and you guys can see them in the walkthrough. You can go back and see them there. Um, and you know, it, it's unfortunate that that uh, happens, uh, but it is a new piece of hardware. We can't expect anything super amazing until later on in the cycle once the developers have had their hands on it for a little bit while. Now the fact that Crytek made this game is really interesting to me because Crytek is known for games like Crisis. Um, so this kind of action uh, button, button masher, if you guys want to say, is not normal for them. Um, but, you know, it's something that I guess it worked out. I think they did a pretty good job with it. Um, the the game itself looks very pretty. Uh, the YouTube videos don't do it as much justice. You guys actually go and watch the first, I think, seven parts of this walkthrough. At part eight, I had to lower the bitrate settings just because I was having enormous files. Like, I was recording pretty much raw files in 1080, and so 10 minutes or 30 minutes of gameplay, that's like close to six, seven gigabytes. And to upload that, to process that, took a really long time. So I had to lower it a little bit. But you can't really tell the difference. Um, but if you guys, if you want the closest representation to what the game looks like, definitely 1 through 7 do a, does a pretty good job if you're watching that in full 1080. Uh, again, just like any other video, it can't do the game justice completely on YouTube. It's unfortunate. Um, hopefully, as, you know, next generation comes here, that YouTube will also adequate itself to make it so that way so these videos can look better and better um but more on the game uh the I, as i talked about earlier you know once you have a mastery of the combat although it may be repetitive which was another thing that people knocked about the game is that the game is really repetitive and it is but the the repetitiveness of the combat wasn't necessarily a bad thing for me i i didn't mind it um I was always looking to have a better combo and, and a longer combo and see how well I could do there. Uh, the the gripes that I have with the combat are when you go into the like the Scorpio mode. I hated that. Like in the beginning, it was kind of cool. Like okay, this is fine. But when they keep on throwing it at you again and again, and it's just really unclear on what you're supposed to be doing with it. The targeting is a little weird. Like it auto locks, but it doesn't auto lock. You can't like zoom in and it's just, I don't know that was weird um I, I like I'm trying I'm trying to think there's another moment that I want to talk about that I can't think of right now um the well you have so you have you have just the normal combat you have the Scorpio combat you have the 
the Legion combat where you're you're in the wall, um, and that that was cool. I liked that. Um, it was really really on rails. Like you literally can't get more on rails than that. Uh, but it wasn't. I, I don't feel like it was bad. I thought I thought that was fun. Like maybe throw a little bit more in there, like a, some options or something like that, um, and that would be that would be a really cool way to bring it um, to fight things, I guess. Oh, gosh, what else do we have to say about this game? Um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. Like, if I were to give it a rating, like, I, I've been thinking about this. Like, how would I rate a game? And, and I don't like doing 1 through 10 because it's it's just really cloudy. But, like, a lot of games, like, an average is 7. It's not 5. The average is 7. That, that's just not something I'm going to do. And I think the best way to say is, like, when would when should you buy this game? Is it a $60 game? No. I do not think that it is a $60 game. I would say $30, yeah, if, if, you're, if you like the genre of the timed attacks, quick time events, that kind of stuff, $30 definitely worth it. For everyone else, I definitely think it's like a $20 pickup. Now, that's, that's probably, you know, what it, say what you will about it. Does that hate on the game? No. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know how much lasting gameplay is there. There's the co-op mod mode that I've dabbled in a little bit. Not a lot. Um, I like it, though. It's like an arena mode. It's basically like this scenes where we're in the Coliseum, um, the, the part of the game. That's pretty much what the multiplayer is like. Um, so I I think I'll, I'll play a little bit of that and see. And maybe, I'll, maybe I'll make a video, too. Depends on what you guys want to see. If anyone's still listening at this point, I don't even know. This was a lot of... A lot of jambering to listen to if you guys uh, if you guys really care. But I do I do want to thank you guys in particular for all the support you guys gave me. When I took over this series, started bringing you videos, you hit those like buttons and you really let me and, and the rest of the media cows know that you guys want to see videos and not just, you know, like a, a big issue of ours is always getting people together on the same schedule. We have four people in media cows, one lives in Maryland, and it's really hard to coordinate schedules for each other. And so what doing this game alone allowed me to do is allowed me just to take time and do it in my own style, especially since it's a game that I liked and I really wanted to bring to you guys. It is very similar to Tomb Raider to me. It's a game that I look forward to a lot um, and, and didn't just want to fall off to the wayside. So I don't really have very much more to say. Um, Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter so you guys you know exactly what I'm doing and what's going on with everything. I know a lot of you guys ask for what's going on with X series or Y series. Um, and really the best way to do that is to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, links in the description and that, that tells you exactly what's going on. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much again. I couldn't do this without you. And uh, I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next series. So... Peace out, guys, and again, thank you. Thank you so much.